Follow these steps to create a decorative pattern like this in Adobe Illustrator. Let's start by creating horizontal and vertical lines on the artboard. Select the horizontal line, then double-click the selection tool. Set the vertical position to 50px. And copy it. Repeat the same steps in the opposite direction. Select all lines, right click, and create guides. Create a 20 by 20 px rectangle and copy it down. Create another rectangle like mine. Select all rectangles, right click, and group them. Move them to the guideline. Select and press Ctrl 2 to lock. Next, Go to File and select Place to insert the reference image. Position it in the center of the guideline. Press Ctrl Shift Left Square Bracket to send it back. Adjust the alignment until it's exactly aligned. Open Properties and lower the opacity. Press Ctrl 2 to lock the image. Change the line color. Activate the Arc tool and draw a curved line on the rectangle. Select all lines, right click, and select join. Open the layers panel and hide the rectangle layer. Select and copy the reflected line to the side. Open properties to flip the object. Select both. Activate the Shape Builder tool. Hold ALT and delete this line. Press A. Select this area and delete the line. Select both. Right click and join. Press A. Select this area and round the corners. Select and move the endpoints of this line. Select and copy the reflected line back in the other direction. Press A, select, and delete this section. Change the stroke color to black again and set the stroke weight to 12px. Go to Object and Expand. Draw a flower using the pen tool.
Hold ALT to round the stroke. Press Shift X to switch. Copy it to the other stem. Select all, open Pathfinder and click Unite. Copy the reflected line in the opposite direction. Open the Layers panel and hide the Reference Image layer. Hide the guides as well. Copy the pattern. Create a rectangle. Then align its edges to the center of the stem. Select it. Activate the Shape Builder tool. Hold ALT and delete this section. Open the window and display the brush panel. Click and drag inside and select the pattern brush. Change the method to Tints. Now you can draw a shape and apply a custom brush pattern to its stroke. If you change the stroke weight, the pattern will adjust. You can also change the color and that's it. Best of luck with your project. For your information, the voice you hear in this video was generated with Eleven Labs. It's one of the best AI voice tools available today offering natural and realistic voices in many different languages and accents. Eleven Labs is already used by thousands of creators around the world to make professional voiceovers quickly and easily. If you'd like to try it, I've put the link in the description. Feel free to check it out.